Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be an adventure, sci-fi, and action movie from 2021 called Finch. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. The movie starts with scenes of Earth in ruins after a solar flare destroyed the ozone layer 10 years earlier, causing temperatures to soar to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. The planet is now a hostile wasteland, scorched by UV radiation and prone to severe weather events. The story begins with Finch, one of the few survivors, who is a robotics engineer. He wears a protective suit to shield himself from the intense heat and UV rays. On a typical day, he is out searching for supplies with his robot, Dewey. When they enter a store, Finch's equipment shows high UV radiation levels while Dewey gathers any remaining items, including dog food. Finch marks the location to keep track of scavenged areas. In the next scene, Finch drives through a deserted town, deserted due to the depleted ozone layer making it unsafe to be outdoors. Suddenly, his suit alerts him to an incoming storm. He quickly drives away, narrowly escaping the storm, and reaches his underground lab, which was once part of the company he worked for before the disaster. Later, we learn that Finch is suffering from tuberculosis. At home, his dog Goodyear awaits him. Finch embraces and feeds Goodyear, but only sips a drink himself due to limited supplies. He then uses an AI to upload instructions for his new project on tasks like caring for a dog and doing household chores. Finch, deeply attached to Goodyear, is building a sophisticated robot to look after his dog after he passes away. He's been researching UV radiation and exposure extensively. Finch takes the eyes from Dewey and installs them on the new robot, and after several attempts, the robot understands Finch's instructions and nods in acknowledgement, delighting Finch. Finch plays with his dog, hopeful that Goodyear will soon have a new companion. He then asks the robot to talk about itself. The robot lists its rules, emphasizing that its primary duty in Finch's absence is to protect Goodyear at all costs. Suddenly, the power fails. Finch goes out to fix the wind turbine and soon restores power. Back inside, the robot names itself Jeff. A massive storm approaches and Finch connects Jeff to the weather station to forecast it. Jeff predicts four storms in the next 24 hours that will last about 40 days. Realizing the severity, Finch decides they must leave soon and considers San Francisco as their best option. Finch finishes building Jeff's body and increases the data transfer rate, teaching Jeff to walk. After some practice, Jeff starts walking successfully. While Finch is pleased with the progress, Goodyear does not like the robot and doesn't trust him. As the storm approaches, Finch begins packing essentials and unplugs Jeff's data transfer at only 72%, leaving Jeff underdeveloped and acting childishly. Finch calls for Dewey to join them but realizes he has removed Dewey's eyes. He fixes this by attaching a camera so Dewey can see again. Then, they all board an RV and head towards San Francisco. Initially, Jeff is very curious and tries to mimic everything Finch does. They manage to avoid the storm for a while and make a stop in a deserted town. Wearing his UV suit, Finch and Jeff step outside. Finch teaches Jeff how to scavenge and warns him about the dangers of the sun. They even make popcorn in the intense sun heat for a bit of fun. However, their enjoyment is short-lived as Finch sees the storm closing in. He rushes everyone to try to outpace the storm, but it catches up to them. Outside, Finch instructs Jeff to help secure the RV with wires. After Finch tires out, Jeff takes over and successfully finishes securing the RV just as the tornado hits. The wires start snapping under the storm's force, but they manage to hold. Once the storm passes, Finch is relieved but finds the RV's front tire damaged. Without a jack, Jeff lifts the RV, allowing Finch to change the tire. The next morning, Jeff tries to communicate with Goodyear, but Finch explains that building a relationship with the dog will take time. Later, seeing a sign indicating that San Francisco is 1,522 miles away, Jeff asks Finch to explain trust. Finch shares a personal story of how he earned his team's trust by crediting them for solving a software issue he resolved alone. As they continue their journey, Finch's health worsens. They stop at a restaurant where Finch vomits blood, realizing he doesn't have much time left. He takes Goodyear inside to play, while Jeff, left alone, messes around in the RV, accidentally releasing the handbrake and causing the RV to hit a car. When Finch confronts him, Jeff appears innocent but then causes another crash while reversing. Frustrated, Finch shows Jeff the damage the sun does to his skin and emphasizes that Jeff's main job is to care for Goodyear. After leaving the restaurant, Finch teaches Jeff to drive. 
Although Jeff starts off clumsily, he quickly learns and begins to drive smoothly, pleasing Finch, although Goodyear remains wary. That night, they camp by the road where they can see the beautiful northern lights visible due to the absence of the ozone layer. Jeff suggests that they drive at night to avoid the dangerous daylight, but Finch explains that it's risky because hungry people could attack them. The next morning, Finch vomits blood and shivers, causing Jeff to care for him and offer to call a doctor. They then resume their journey. Upon reaching a major city, Jeff and Dewey go scavenging in a looted hospital. Meanwhile, Finch wakes up to find the robots missing and despite his weakness, suits up to find them, unaware someone is watching him. Inside the hospital, Jeff is excited to find food, medicine, and a fancy jacket, while Dewey, not noticing a nearby bear trap, gets destroyed by it. A distraught Finch finds Dewey, apologizes, and shuts him down. Hearing a noise, Finch finds Jeff and insists they leave immediately for their safety. They barely make it back to their RV and speed away with another vehicle tailing them. Finch lets Jeff drive in the dark and instructs him to speed up as they head into a storm. Ignoring Jeff's warnings about the underpass being too low, Finch drives the RV under it, causing a crash that destroys the RV's solar panels. After the crash, the following car pauses briefly and then drives off. Outside, Finch blames himself for the crash and admits he can't fix the panels. Jeff tries to reassure him, but Finch angrily tells him to stop talking. Feeling responsible, Finch re-enters the vehicle while Jeff stays out in the rain. Later, Jeff tells Finch he believes they can still reach the Golden Gate Bridge. Finch shares a story about why he distrusts people, recounting how he found Goodyear alone and scared, and vowed to protect him after witnessing a horrific act where young boys killed a girl and her mother. The next morning, a sign indicates they are 480 miles from San Francisco. Jeff drives while Finch rests. Suddenly, Jeff stops the RV to show Finch a butterfly on the windshield. Finch reaches out, surprised to find his hand unaffected by the sunlight. Finch steps outside and feels the sunlight, finding that the UV radiation has decreased enough to no longer pose a danger. He sees a flower and another butterfly and laughs heartily. As they continue their journey, they pass flowering plains. Later, Finch dresses up and they decide to have a picnic in the sun, something he hasn't experienced in over 10 years. Finch then shares memories from his past and expresses a wish to have done more with his life. Hearing this, Jeff excitedly suggests they could reach the Golden Gate Bridge in about 18 hours if they leave immediately, but Finch admits he won't be able to make it. A saddened Jeff promises to take care of Goodyear after Finch is gone. Finch then plays fetch with Goodyear, passing the ball to Jeff to help build trust between them. They enjoy a brief moment of fun before Finch suddenly starts coughing up blood, staining his white suit. When Jeff offers to help, Finch tells him he has already helped enough. They share a handshake and a hug, and Jeff helps a visibly emotional Finch back into the RV where Goodyear comforts him. Finch gives Goodyear one final pat before he passes away. After Finch's death, Jeff and Goodyear burn Finch's body and his UV suit on the planes. Jeff takes over Finch's daily routines, feeding and playing fetch with Goodyear, who begins to feel safe and accept Jeff as his new guardian. They eventually reach the Golden Gate Bridge, where Jeff builds a memorial for Finch and discovers messages left by other survivors indicating where they can be found, hinting at the possibility of reunions. In the final scene, Jeff attaches his drawing of Finch, Goodyear, and himself to the fence, showing their bond and shared journey. The two then set off to a new destination. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe! Take care, and see you next time!